guys, it's your girl T. And I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole situation that went on with Real. As you guys all know, Real, aka My Givens, he died yesterday from stage four colon cancer. Back in 2013, he was diagnosed with colon cancer. Um, he ended up going into the hospital. They had let the world know that he was really sick. He was able to fight it and beat it. At that point in time, they had only given him a few months to live. But he ended up living a full two years. Um, he got back in good with God. He became a reborn again Christian. And he also, um, he had a son in that time and he was also married. So this whole situation definitely comes as a shocker. It's really, really sad. Um, especially being that he was only 33 years old. As you guys know, we all know him from I Love New York and then Real Chance at Love. That was my show on VH1. I watched both of those shows religiously. And, um, you know, everybody loved Real. His hair was always on fleek. His eyebrows were always on fleek. Him and Chance were both cute. Everybody loved Real and Chance. We all love the Stallioneers. So it's really, really sad to hear that he passed away, especially from cancer, being that he fought so hard. They're saying that when they last went to go see him on uh, Thursday night, that he was starting to lose his vision. He was having trouble talking. And at that point in time, they felt that, you know, the end was near and he ended up dying a few hours later. So it's really, really sad. And I feel really bad for Chance. Um, they were very, very close, as close as brothers could be. And it's sad that, you know, he had to go out so young. Another thing that bothers me, we we're discussing on Facebook, is how so many people, you know, are healthy as an ox their whole life, never been sick. And then all of a sudden they get stricken with cancer. And you have so many people dying younger and younger from cancer, from all types of cancers. You know, you have cancer of the lymph nodes, cancer of the eyes, colon cancer. You know, it's just really, really sad. And we were having a discussion. A lot of folks are saying that a lot of these cancers are coming because of the foods that we eat, possible chemicals in the air um, called chemtrails and everything else. I don't know what's causing the big uprise in cancer, but I remember growing up, you only heard about cancer every now and then. And a lot of times when you heard about cancer, like you had leukemia that affected a lot of children, but it was far and few between. And then when you did hear about cancer, you heard about breast cancer, but again, it was far and few between. And now you have so many people, so many children with cancers, a lot of young people with cancers, you know, women in their 30s now getting breast cancer. So it's really sad. I don't know if it's coming from the cell phones, if it's coming from, you know, the microwaves, if it's coming from the radiation, but cancer is becoming more and more prevalent. So I hope one thing that comes out of Real's death is that people take cancer seriously and realize that it can affect anybody. It doesn't matter if you're male, female, black, white, how younger, how old you are. And if you're having any type of symptoms, go and get tested because the greatest prevention of cancer is detecting it early. If you're feeling a lump in your breast, if if you're having issues when you go to the bathroom, get that stuff checked out. Don't just sit on it because it could very well be cancer. So it's really, really sad that he passed away. You know, he has this beautiful son. He has this beautiful wife. You know, he was only 33 years old. So that just breaks my heart. You know, I wish him and his family well. He's in my prayers. Again, I love the reality TV show. I'm a huge fan. I've been watching VH1, you know, ever since Flavor of Love. And now we have Love and Hip Hop. If it was not for Real and Chance and, and New York and, you know, Tiffany Pollard, if it was not for them, there would be no Love and Hip Hop in New York. So, uh, thank you guys. You guys kept me entertained over the years so anyways go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire story concerning real passing away at the age of 33 from stage 4 colon cancer so go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs>
uh, but the surgery was successful. The radiation. Thank you all for your prayers. I love you. What's up, everybody? I just left the doctors. I did a brain MRI today. Saw my doctors. They said everything looks good. No new tumors in the brain. No swelling. <laughs> I feel great. I just want to thank you guys for all the love, the, the, the support, the comments you guys leave, the prayers. I read it all, man, and I'm so thankful you guys. The loyalty, man, I love it. I love you guys, man. Thank you so much. Thank you.